Welcome back, everybody. We have some breaking news out of California pertaining to their assault weapons ban. Obviously, this has been challenged before. I believe the last time was in 2019, if I remember correctly. Um, and essentially, this case was on hold pending a couple other cases in California, which have, as you guys know who watch the channel, uh, recently been ruled on. So um, we recently had the magazines uh, ban overturn and then the Third Circuit, or excuse me, Ninth Circus uh, nonsense that we'll talk about here in just a second. And with that being decided, it went back, this case rather went back to Judge Benitez. He made a ruling on it today. It is almost 80 pages long. It is very long. I've read most of it. And uh, essentially what he did was over overthrow rather or overturn the assault weapons ban in California. Now there has been an update that was probably around 12 o'clock Eastern time today or nine o'clock. So right in the morning uh, out there in California, and there has been some action on that. So uh, we'll get into that real quick. And I just kind of want to uh, highlight one thing that he talked about here, and then we're going to move on to the ruling and then what I think of it overall. I don't want to make the video too long, but towards the end of the ruling, he does say this quote here, one's right to life, liberty, and property, to free speech, to a free press, to a freedom of worship and assembly and other fundamental rights may not be submitted to vote. They depend on the outcome of no elections. That is an absolute fact. And then he gets into the specificity of the Second Amendment and how it relates to assault weapons by saying, the question remains, in an age where weapons run the gamut from fighter jets to tanks to anti-aircraft missiles down to AR-15s to handguns to pocket knives, which weapons are protected by the Second Amendment and which are not? As one judge understood this case and others like it demonstrate, we cannot rely on the insular federal judges to weigh which weapons are appropriate for self-defense they honestly don't have a clue and their intuitions about firearm are, firearms rather are not good and we can't rely on governments to decide that's who the second amendment was intended to protect against but as heller discusses we can look to what weapons law-abiding citizens have chosen to defend themselves that is what weapons are currently in common use for lawful purposes it is common firearms, in this case, semi-automatic rifles, shotguns, and pistols chosen for whatever the lawful reason that are protected by the Second Amendment. So uh, this goes back to an argument that we have discussed here many times on the channel, and that is common use doctrine. So uh, obviously we have the Bruin decision, which says that all firearms laws in order to be legal need to be consistent with the text, history, and tradition of the Second Amendment as it was written in 1791. Uh, and then another case or another uh, standard, I guess you could say, that these laws are judged by is that one there, which is common use. That comes out of a case where essentially it was ruled that a couple hundred thousand uh, stun guns were in circulation at the time of the case, and that you know, I think it was 200,000 plus of those being in use made them common use. So if 200,000 stun guns is common use, uh, you know, 40 to 50 million assault rifles under a California's ban are certainly uh, would meet the common use standard there. And then he goes on to essentially, you guys can read it, where he says essentially Rob Bonta, who's the attorney general in California, all police officers, etc., are prohibited from enforcing this law. However, he did give it a 10 day injunction. Uh, the problem with that is going to be uh, that Rob Bonta, the attorney general of California, had the uh, essentially the appeal pre-written because I think he knew this was going to happen because Judge Benitez always rules, and not always, in the Second Amendment anyway, all his rules in our favor. Um, so he basically put up his challenge within an hour of this becoming public. So obviously it was already pre-written. Um, so right now, what is going to happen moving forward is going to be interesting. So uh, I mentioned earlier that there was some uh, there were some issues with the way the Ninth Circuit handled the magazine ban. Um, basically, they did things that they have never previously done in order to immediately strike down Judge Benitez ruling that standard capacity magazines were legal and that laws prohibiting them were unconstitutional. That happened, what, two weeks ago now as of this point? And uh, as of right now, under normal judicial procedures, what would happen with this case, because it is different uh, than the magazine case. It's been appealed at different levels, which is why the process is different. Uh, I'm sure the lawyers down below in the comment section will explain it all for you guys, but to keep it short, uh, what should happen under a normal process uh, in the Ninth Circuit right now is that this case should be heard before a three person, um, essentially like a smaller version of the entire Ninth Circuit. So it should be a three judge panel that hears this at the appellate phase now that uh, the Attorney General of California has appealed it. What will happen? 
who the heck knows in California in the Ninth Circuit because uh, previously when I made my video about the magazine uh, ruling, I essentially thought it was going to be over and that the Ninth Circuit wouldn't take it up because it was essentially settled law, but they broke all types of legal norms in our country. Uh, gentleman from Washington Gun Law has a video on all the different processes they did that were unusual, I guess we could say, and I definitely recommend his channel, it's very, very good. Um, but he did a, a video about like essentially all the lawyers speak of how insane it was that they made their ruling the way they did. And uh, because of that and their recent history to break judicial norms, I'm not sure it's going to happen in this case, but it will be going in some way before the Ninth Circuit and then eventually very likely uh, back to the Supreme Court, whether the Supreme Court takes it uh, individually or they take it as a package of stuff out of the Ninth Circuit, uh, which has recently been uh, playing playing some interesting games. Uh, we will see, but one way or another, this one's going all the way up to the Supreme Court, I think. Um, I, I, if I had to guess, I would say it would be a, as part of a package of bills that have come out of the Ninth Circuit that are all trying to say the same thing, which is completely inconsistent and incongruent with the Bruin decision, which is the most recent uh, Supreme Court uh, decision uh, on gun rights. So I think they're gonna get slapped down, but we shall see. So that is it guys. If you have any questions, anything like that, you can always let me know down below in the comments of this video. You can also ask those questions over at my various social media pages, which I recommend following me on, particularly the non-Zuckerberg ones, uh, where I'm able to get news like this up quicker than I am here on video. Uh, additionally, if you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well. If you've done both of those and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, you are being censored by an algorithm. So uh, free, feel free rather to sign up for the email at the website here on your screen. It goes out once a month, so it's not super spammy and it has all of the videos since the previous month's email went out. So that way nobody in terms of algorithmically is separating your eyes from my content. Uh, additionally, if you guys like deals on ammo, guns, semi-automatic guns, <laughs> anything like that, optics, uh, those deals go out every day in my daily deals email. And I can sign up for it here at the website on your screen. If it's in that email, it's the cheapest I know of anywhere on the internet for that particular item. So it saves you guys some time because I've already done the price comparison for you and hopefully saves you some money as well. That's all I got for you guys. It's a win, but it's only a win in terms of moving the ball forward toward the final win for folks in California. So that's where we're at. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.